here are 10 things you probably missed in the new Mortal Kombat 1 Quan Chi and Chameleon gameplay trailer. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's get into the little things that you probably missed in this trailer because man, the trailer was so fast paced. There was a lot going on and a couple minute things that you probably didn't notice the first time watching. After watching this trailer multiple times, even in slow motion, the first thing that I noticed coming across the intro here is that Chameleon, as we know, you know, seeing the trailer, she changes between Katana, Jade, Melina, and that first implication is here in the intro. She starts off with her back turn and you see here she changes colors during the intro from blue to green to pink. So during that entire intro, she changes the colors, giving you the player, oh, she's changing characters or movesets. And we see that again as she's used for the cameo. She uses Melina and then she changes colors right there to green right at the end. So if you saw there, she changes colors in the corner. So she's used, she's Melina right here. She's gonna change to Jade right there. So using the cameo, using Chameleon as a cameo, then changes who she's gonna be next. It's kind of my assumption, right? So right now as the player, you're thinking, okay, my next move is gonna be some form of Jade move. And then sure enough, Quan Chi uses Chameleon two seconds later and she is Jade. And then the Jade move, if you didn't notice, actually makes you projectile and vulnerable. So you can use that during a combo. So by the time you're done, you have this kind of force field around you, thus making you projectile and vulnerable like that. A little bit later, we notice you start off with Melina with a ball roll setup. That's a great setup. We don't see her change right there, but I, I'm assuming she's gonna be changing. So she's still pink right here. I'm assuming changing into Katana. So I think the order is gonna go Melina, Katana, Jade, or maybe it's, I don't know. There's gonna be an order for sure. Kind of like Tremor. How he's got like metallic, crystalline, uh, aftershock. But what a great setup that ball roll is gonna be. Another really small thing I noticed about Quan Chi in this trailer is right here, he actually, when, when he blocks, he uses the skull to block, and, and that might be really small, but I just love the attention to detail that they put on these characters. Like, rather than just, you know, putting his arm up to block, he's using his, like, skull to block, and I love that. Right before that, by the way, Quan Chi uses Chameleon's uh, katana move where she throws the fans. He jumps up, and then he comes up to, you know, grab him or hit him, and he blocks. Then the grab comes out. She changes to Jade, so, like, she was katana, goes to Jade, and I'm assuming the grab here changes chameleon as well so i'm assuming using her in a combo as a, as, a, as a cameo move then changes her next move set you know again in this kind of like cycle of jade melina katana he uses her as a katana the next grab changes her to jade is she gonna end this grab as melina i'm not quite sure what the hell is that quan chi face right there man what am i looking at the next noteworthy thing you're gonna see here is quan chi has such an amazing move set we've seen so far so many tools just a variety of things he can do to your opponent and right here something really caught my eye at first i thought it was kind of like uh shang Tsung spikes but it's actually not this is a full-on cage he traps your opponent in bones you'll see here they cannot move and then at the same exact time so two Two major things are happening here. He traps your opponent in the cage, which is kind of crazy, and then he pulls out this portal to the nether realm that then changes his moveset slash projectiles. So you'll see here Shang Tsung's trying to move, and then we have different projectiles. We enhance that, that goes through projectiles. They fall down, we have another projectile combo, pulling out the skeleton to hit him off. Oh my, that combo alone is just psychotic. But the things that you know were noteworthy to me where the kind of cage trying to get out of and they cannot move. So then you can zone them out with projectiles and that's a great time to either, you know, do a cameo thing or, or maybe like, you know, something here, pull the portal out to change your projectiles. What a cool mechanic that is, dude. And then a few seconds later, we see the grab again. She comes in as Katana. So again, when the grab happens here as Katana, are, are we assuming she's changing right here to Jade? So the next move she's gonna use is Jade's moves. Now this part is really cool. So for those, that, it happens so fast. If you didn't notice it, it's totally fine. But Chameleon comes out as Katana and uses Katana's winds to like lift you. And I'm not sure if that's because you can't jump and she makes you jump, but you'll see here she comes out and like forces you to jump. So we're gonna put that in like super slow motion because that that just happens so fast. So we got on 0.25 speed. You'll see here he you know he enhances his move. She comes out and lifts him up. So I'm assuming that move by itself for Quan Chi is not jump cancelable. Maybe it is. I I, I don't I don't know. I'm, I'm just assuming here. What else is the point of her lifting you up to be able to then air combo like this? Like maybe that maybe that move is not jump cancelable, even though it's maybe a combo extender. 
uh, ch chameleon here is probably allowing you to then do air combos for just a move, which is pretty cool. She was Katana during that airlift, then the fatal blow hits. She comes in and changes to Jade and then changes to Katana and then Melina again. So you can see her changing during the intro animation and then during the fatal blow animation, which again, is just really cool attention to detail for these characters, man. Same thing, of course, during the outro, we have Katana turning into Jade, that's so cool. A small thing that was so hard to catch is in this intro between uh, Peacemaker and Quan Chi, that, that, that's just about to happen here, which again, seeing Peacemaker in game was totally threw me off guard in this trailer, but, but the thing to notice here is, is Chameleon here is not in blue, pink, or green. She's, she's, she's just grayed out, which we've only seen her in green, blue, pink for, of course, Katana, Jade, Melina. So is this her having a different moveset? Maybe with like the, the ninjas, the male ninja? I don't, I don't know. Is this like, is this smoke or is this just, just like a neutral costume? I don't know what to make of it. I just noticed it. And the reason why I noticed it is because in other intros that she's got, she's wearing the green. As you see here, she's totally totally greened out so that's for jade i'm assuming other times she might be pinked out for melina and so on but but in the other one she was grayed out i don't know let me know what you think that means down below though quan chi looks so good he looks better than he ever has in my opinion i think that the most interesting part of this entire trailer was chameleon man she was pulling out some crazy stuff and if you paid attention you might have seen these small details that make you go whoa she's gonna be a really cool cameo but with that said again let me know down below what are your thoughts on chameleon as a cameo what are your thoughts on Quan Chi coming to Mortal Kombat 1? Subscribe here for more fighting game content. Take it one step at a time.